Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca and I'm here to help you to become a lead guitarist. I want to equip you to become a lead guitarist. In this video here, I'm going to be talking about how to transform a minor pentatonic, the most famous of all, into a minor scale. Okay? Very simple steps. We're going to get the minor pentatonic, change a few notes, add a few things, and you're going to have the minor sounding. It's going to be amazing super easy to apply uh, if you know how to use the pentatonic you will know how to do this because that is easy all right that very simple so let me let me zoom in break it down for you let's do it all right so let's get e minor it could be a it could be g it could be whatever but i want to do e minor okay e minor the pentatonic for e minor we can play open string but it is a little tricky to play here so what we're gonna do it's um, exactly an octave higher on the 12th string oh. after the 12th string everything starts repeating so open string is E 12th string is E and everything you can do you do before the 12 you can just mirror over above 12 so the minor pentatonic goes like this finger one finger four one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Note that my finger one is always over the, the, the 12th fret. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. I call this the most famous of all because it is the most famous shape of all times of music history. Um, guitar speaking, right? One four, one three, one three, one three, one four, one four. I've seen people just using finger three. If you do that, it's fine. Um, whatever you do, just play those frets that those fingers represent when they say one four or one three. Okay? I don't give uh, any opening here. I just land finger four where he would naturally four uh, fall. <laughs> one four, one three, one three, one three, one four, one four. All right. If I want to play a solo, improvise a little bit, and make some melody over the pentatonic using, like, here, the open E. You can hear how already musical it sounds, right? Awesome, that's the sound of pentatonic. Now we're gonna change a few things over the G, B, and E strings, okay? Over the G, instead of just one, four, or sorry, one, three, we're gonna add this note here, we're gonna slide their finger one to 11. And then here, I can either just use the one back and forth, or I can use one, three, four. One, two, four. Sounds pretty, right? And having adding this note here, you sound, uh, you can tell how the sound changes right away. On the E, uh, B string, instead of one, four, I'm gonna do one, two, four. So. That's a pentatonic. This is with this note here. Right? And then finally, E string, instead of one four, gonna do one three four so here's the pentatonic with minor 
Sounds pretty cool. The way you can use this is exploring the pentatonic first. And add notes as you will. Uh, here, here's a good one. Right? not chromatic there anyways one three one two four one two four one three four sounds beautiful quite simple right not rocket science at all so what happens there is the pentatonic has five notes. That's penta. That's what it means. Five notes, right? Tonics. The minor scale, that it has two extra notes uh, on, the, on the, the composition of that scale. Uh, pentatonic, we have the first, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh. I almost said six. The minor scale has the first, the second, the minor third, so that's a pentatonic. The second we're adding, fourth, uh, fifth, sixth. So we're and then seventh. So we're adding the second note and the sixth note to the pentatonic to have a minor scale. It's a uh, that's the theory behind. Okay, in this case here, the minor E minor, we have E G A B D. Then we're adding the E. Let me go here. E, G, A, uh, B, D. And then E and G again. So here, what we're doing, we're adding the F sharp, which is the second. A, B, C, which is the sixth. Here's the pentatonic, this is the D. E again, and then the second again to the third. Anyways, that's the theory behind, okay? When you play, you don't necessarily need to think about that. You're playing guitar. It's an instrument that is based on shapes. Beauty of playing guitar, right? Just add those notes into your pentatonic and make your solos a little bit more melodic and having more option of notes for you to sound beautiful, amazing, awesome to take the lead, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, I have a 30-day lead guitar jumpstart guide you can download for free on the description of this video. Just click the link below, download that, and I'm gonna work with you for the next 30 days into very specific tools for you to take the lead and come become a guitar uh, lead guitar player. And thank you so much for watching this video, spending this time with me, and I see you in the next one.